Okay, hello everybody. My name is Dominic Bader. I'm a sales manager from Sitecore. And today I want to present you some information about cross-channel personalization, the digital marketing of the future. Yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. Let's start. First, we have the situation. There's, um, there are many companies today. They still have one website for every device, iPhone device, mobile device, etc. They have one website for each customer, for each target group. And yeah, because of this situation, we can use personalization for different target groups and so on. And this is what I'm talking about today. Um, I think everyone here in this room knows this situation and everybody knows um, some websites who are using personalization in a very performant way like Amazon does, for example. Okay, so the first quest question is, who is your customer? And it's not um, important that you analyze your customers in a very granular way. It's important to, um, yeah, to ask you this question, who are your customers? Here you see um, each person is different. So if you, if you yeah, come in, take a seat. Let's start it. Um, it's important to, to discuss this question. And if you discuss this question, you get results. And then we can do personalization, for example, for each customer. But before we can talk about personalization on the internet, uh, we have to talk um, about personalization in theory. So uh, here's a definition of personalization. Uh, it means the normal assignment of characteristics to a concrete person and the addition of applications, services, information to the personal preferences, needs, and abilities of a user. It's a long sentence, but it's still easy. So you have characteristics, you have a concrete person, and you provide some software, applications, some, some products, information, and so on, and you can match this to the personal preferences, needs of the customer. So if you st understand this, uh, method of personalization, you can match it to the website and you can also match it in the real life. So personalization in real life, let's uh, analyze an example. For example, we have uh, a fashion store and yeah, imagine you go to the fashion store, you stay um, in front of the rack and you see some trousers, some pullovers, some jeans and so on. And in a good fashion store, there is a salesman who has analyzed you since you were going into the store and stand in front of the rack. And um, yeah, he, he can analyze some attributes of you, of, you, of the customer, um, to define some target groups and define what you want to buy or what you're interested in. For example, he can analyze attributes like gender, the age, um, what you're wearing currently. Do you wear a business suit or casual? Um, your style, do you have a beard, a hair, which haircut, um, which accessories do you wear, like rings, watch, and so on, and do you wear any brands? And all these attributes are very important to um, analyze your customer. So um, the, the salesman does this analyzation of this customer um, because he has some goals. This is the intention of the salesman. So the goals can be, for example, the good personal advice for the customer, but also he wants to increase the sales. And also he could earn some customer loyalty um, in the whole sales process. So what have we learned? We have learned if you want to do personalization, you have to define goals. So let's define some goals for the website. If you want to define goals for the website, you have uh, to define um, some questions before. The question could be, do you want to increase sales? Do you want to increase the customer loyalty through customer value? Or do you want to reduce costs? Do you want to increase level of awareness? And these are all the questions for the big goals of the website. So after you have defined these questions, and maybe you have some answers, you have to set priorities for your goals. And after you set these priorities, you have to define micro goals. And micro goals can be, for example, you want to get 400 new likes for your Facebook fan page, 
Um, you want to push newsletter, newsletter registration, you want to push training registration on your website, or you want to um, get more transaction for your online shop. So these goals are very important for your personalization because personalization is only a method. And this is the intention why you do personalization. And how can we do personalization on the website? Remember, the salesman has analyzed his customer um, because he was analyzing his attributes like gender and haircut and so on. And in the, on the internet, we have the chance to use um, other attributes. For example, the digital fingerprint. It's a very easy method to, personalize, uh, to analyze your customer on the internet because these are no psycho data or so on. This is, um, this, these are tracked data which is in every session on the internet. So for example, you have here the attributes like campaigning, which were triggered, uh, countries, region, the day, um, your IP address, keywords, the referrer, and so on. And all these attributes can be used for personalization and um, also to, to know your customer. Now, I want to show you a demo case um, from Psycho, how you can, for example, easily do personalization with the digital fingerprint, for example. Um, at the first step, I want to show you campaign personalization. Um, we have here a, a demo site, and we have uh, some Google AdWords campaigns, we have a Facebook campaign, and you can do personalization through campaigning, you can do personalization with a digital fingerprint, and um, yeah, other triggers. And after I've shown you, I will sh uh, after I've showed you the campaigning personalization, I will do a personalization on my own because I want to show you how easy and how simple it is to build a personalization with Psycho. And uh, the difficult thing is not to do the personalization; you don't have to code or so on. The difficult thing is to um, do some conceptual marketing work. So which use case is really important and which use case um, can be used uh, to analyze a customer and to deliver the re relevant content. And here I want to show you um, a use case um, with a job vacancy. So um, imagine you have some jobs on your website. You, pro um, you want these jobs, you want new um, uh, employees, new colleagues in your company, and then um, these jobs you can promote on the website. So the visitor comes to your website, he's going to the job section, he's looking for this special job vacancy, but for example, he don't fill out a form, for example. And he goes back to the start page, and here you can do personalization. You can um, deliver a big hero banner, for example, and you can promote your, your company. Hey, we are company XY. We, um, we are very cool, uh, we have um, many parties each year, please come to us. Yeah, and this personalization I will do through the goal technique. A goal technique is um, another technique to do personalization cycle. A goal um, is a trigger, and for example, you have, you have a form, and if you fill out the form, you can uh, trigger this goal, and the goal is written down in your session. And um, yeah, after, uh, it, we can analyze your session and we don't have to show you the form again, for example, because you have filled out. This is a goal. Okay, so let's start with the demo. So I hope everybody can see it. Okay, cool. Um, this is uh, the Office Core. It's uh, our demo site from Sitecore, and it's a company who uh, offers some uh, different products like luxury products, home products, and um, other products. Uh, they differ because we have different um, target groups um, here for this website. I will show it in a few minutes. And yeah, okay. Let's see the structure. Here we have um, a very simple website. Navigation, and here a search box. Navigation, home product, jobs, and so on. No special things. Here we have um, some buttons. 
for example, edit site, then I can go directly to the back end. I will show you in a few minutes. And here we have a login because you can do personalization for the anonymous users and also for the known visitors. So here we have C profile button. It's um, very important because we can do personalization also for different target groups. I will show you here in this use case. Okay, and here we have a big hero banner. Nice picture from London, the Big Bang. And yeah, under the hero banner we have some text boxes and a news box, so a very modular structure. Okay, the story begins with Google. Imagine I'm a, um, a visitor, I want to search for office supplies in the web, and this is a Google fake page, not the real one, going to Google search, and here I get some um, results for office supplies. You can see, like everyone knows it, any results, and on the right side, we have Google AdWord campaigns. And the company, Office Core here, uh, has promoted one Google AdWord campaign, and they promote me some discount if I click, and they have a good rating. Oh, that's very interesting for me. I will click it. And now, we see not a different static HTML file on the server or a special landing page. We have the same website, but there are some components which were personalized. So here you see the, uh, the header of personalization. It's the same before. You see the hero banner, and in the hero banner we have a personalized banner, a personalized component for this Google AdWord campaign. And under it we have our teaser boxes, and imagine um, yeah, I'm interested in some lamps for my office, and here they have the black goose, looking good, we click it, and I get some information for this lamp. Yeah, here you see the price and so on, okay, scrolling down, and here you see form, and um, if I want to get a call back, I have to fill out the form. Okay, we'll do it, of course, it's a very interesting lamp. Put in my name, Dominic, from Sitecore, my email address. Oh, I'm sorry, this, is, uh, this form is built with web form for marketers and module from Sitecore, and there's a validation rule working. Okay, and my interest is office products. Okay, now I will submit this, and in the background, I've triggered a goal. Like I said before, I triggered a goal, and Sitecore can analyze my session. Sitecore can analyze this triggered goal, and that, then we can uh, behave on the website. So, uh, I want to show you a workflow in the background, so I have to start Outlook. Sorry, but here you can see um, the result page. So, thank you. Okay, now I'm waiting for the call back. I'm clicking to the start page. Ah, and here you see the page is personalized again. So on the big hero banner you see they uh, promote me that I, have, that I can join their Facebook community uh, while I'm waiting. Oh, very cool. And also these boxes were personalized. So I hope uh, Outlook is loading. Okay, in the background there's a, a marketing workflow and after I've submitted the form um, yeah, the workflow is working and um, um, the task will send me uh, an email. And they use the attributes, so I get a personalized email in this way. Okay. Now I will click here because I'm waiting for the callback. I'm a little bit Facebook affine and I, I'm getting now to the uh, real life Facebook fan page from Office Call. Would invite you to, to like it. And here you see some posts. Everyone who knows Facebook knows these posts. And in the background here, in this story, there's a module working. It's called Social Connected. So um, on the one hand, we have um, uh, multi-channel marketing. Uh, you, have, you have one system, you have different channels, Twitter and so on. But here I want to show you cross-channel marketing. So here they have a post which promote me a discount, special discount, if I click here. Well, it's okay, I want to have a discount. 
click, and I come back to the same page, and it analyzes my interaction with the Facebook fan page. So here I have cross-channel marketing, came back to the same page, and we can react, we can analyze the whole session and build um, relative content. Okay, this was the first story I want to show you, and now I want to analyze my profile. So for this demo case, um, we have this button, see profile, show you, we click it, and then, yeah, we see uh, spider web. This technique is called profiling in Psycho, and here we have the profile, it's called product interest. And this spider web is for visualiza visualization for the um, profile. And at the corners, you have the profile keys, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, yes. Holiday, home, luxury, and so on. It's a product interest. And my click behavior is tracked. And if I click some, some products um, which have these profile binded in the system, I earn this profile in my session, and I earn also some values. Because if I click um, for um, three or five products from Office, I earn more points than I, um, if I click um, in, the, in the luxury session. And then Psychor can analyze my, um, my profile and it decides if I am a holiday buyer or office buyer. I will show you. Click here in the, uh, in the products and for example holiday products. Now we click in winter sports. Now I'm very interested in the Fury skis, the Impact Boots, Ski Googles, and clicking back to Office Core. And now again, um, new relevant content is delivered for me for my profile. So if I analyze my profile now, you see uh, I have earned some points for the uh, holiday buyer and Psycho. Lace, uh, put a layer on my session and it decides if I'm a product, uh, if I'm a holiday buyer or office buyer. And this profile is a living thing. Um, yeah, okay. This was the profiling. And here you can see um, personalization is not only for uh, static components, we can also um, change components, so we are very dynamically. Here, before, we had, we had uh, three teaser boxes, and now we have no, not the three teaser boxes anymore, we have one big streaming component. So we can um, personalize component, and we can personalize the whole structure. Okay, and now, the second part of the demo, I want to show you how to build this personalization, because it's very simple. Okay, for this I will go in another browser. Okay, I will click on edit site. And now we will go to the login page from Sitecore. I'm the admin, and here I can uh, choose an interface. I will choose the page editor. It's a what you see is what you get editor. It can work directly in the website. It's built it for business users and marketers. Yeah, so here I'm, um, I'm on the start page, and if I click, if I hover my mouse over these components, don't know if you see it, uh, there's a frame around the components, and it's very, very important for Psycho that you build the website in a very modular way. So each component can be personalized. Okay, I will show you personalization on this banner. If I click here, there's an option toolbar, and here you can see a 7-7. Seven, seven. It means that there are seven personalization for this component. For example, when I click here, I can change the um, personalizations. Here you see the Google AdWords, the callback form, and here they use a... Uh, um, Variable, yeah, and all these personalizations. So now I want to show you um, which logic system is in the background. For this, I can click here on personalize component. 
and the dialogue will appear, hopefully. Okay, cool. Um, on the left side, you see each profile, each personalization, I'm sorry, each personalization. And each personalization has a condition, and on the right side, you see the action. So if the condition is true, the action will um, appear. Okay, I will show this uh, for a very simple um, personalization. For example, the Google AdWords, it's easy to understand. Click edit, and then a new dialog will appear. Uh, it's, not, it's not so easy to, for reading. Oh, this is better. OK, so here we have the rule set editor. And I would say everybody in this room who has uh, defined rules in, in Outlook can define personalization in Cycle. It's very simple. So here we have a search bar and um, a search line, sorry. and. Um, here you have all the rules which were out of the box in Sitecore. For example, the GOIP. So here you can, um, here you can uh, analyze from which country the visitor comes, and then you can deliver special re relevant content, for example. Also, we have um, uh, searching the device detection. Sitecore works with the device detection. So if the user, uh, as a visitor, uses um, uh, an iPad, we can change, for example, um, the, the streaming uh, component from, um, uh, I'm sorry, from, from Flash to HTML5, for example, and so on. And these um, rules are out of the box in Sitecore, and you as a developer can code um, your rules um, if you use them, if, if you need them. So, and here in this field, uh, you see the rule which is, uh, which is set it for this situation. Here you can see where the office supplies. Office supplies was a Google AdWords campaign, where the office complies campaign has been triggered in the current visit. So, and if I want to have more rules, so I can click here, for example, with the current username. See, it's not, uh, it's not important. Um, you see the rule is combined with, uh, with the first rule, and I can change the and to an or, and I can lead and so on. It's very, very simple. Okay, but now I will show you how to build a new personalization. So for this use case, I click here on new condition. And remember, the story was that I want to personalize the component if the visitor was on the job section and has read uh, um, the job profile for the account manager, for example, but he didn't uh, fill out a form and, uh, or wrote an email to, to the um, uh, HR. Okay, so here we see I click new condition and the new condition is here. I want to put a new name, for example, job, and then we need a rule. So here I want to use the goal technique and for this, oh, it's not so easy to read. For this situation, I'm searching for rules who uh, react for goals. And here you see we have, one, we have two rules, but this rule is, uh, is uh, the rule I want to use. It's where the current visit had triggered the specific goal. So now I have to choose which goal I want to use for this personalization. Here I have some goals which were in my system, in my demo system. I click on page goals, and here I have jobs. And here, the account manager. So if the user goes to the account manager, um, he gets the, this goal, the account manager goal, written down in the session. Okay. 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 So it was really okay. And the left side is now ready. So, so start with the, uh, the left side. I'm sorry. Start with the right side. Um, which, which content do we want to personalize? Yeah. Yeah. And now, now, um, um, sorry, so that I, that I want, want to um, um, show a banner. banner. So here, so here, I create, create content, content for this call this content, job banner. Job banner. And, now, and now, the logic. It's okay, it's okay, perfect, perfect. 
back on back on the stage. Page, 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 you see how uh, uh, we, we have to more 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 Show you, show you. Here we have the standard component, component, component or, or uh, the double part. And, and, and first, first, first uh, imagine, uh, imagine I'm the marketer market for, for this website. website. At first, At I first want, I want to, to uh, change, change, image, image. Okay, okay. Click, click the component, the component and okay. I can change, change my, my banner image. image. I, would I would see the, the, the media library, library like sidecore. Sidecore. And here we have a picture. Which is, which is perfect for this use case, use case teamwork, and, so on. and now and I want now to um, um, edit this edit text, this headline, text headline. headline, for example, for example Office Core, the best, the best company. company, I'm not a good marketer, market 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 and, and the second the one, second for example, one. Jobs, jobs at, at office, office, uh, office Core office dot net. Dot net. Okay. So our banner is ready, and the logic behind the banner uh, uh, is defined by me. And yeah. So now I have to save, and I have to publish these changes. Publish them only in the English language. language. So uh, I have to publish, I think, about 7,000 items. It's really fast in Sidecore. Now we are at... 2,500, and then I will go to another brawler, to the Firefox, for example, and I will show you that this personalization uh, will su successfully work. Okay, 6,000, 6, 7,000, okay, finish. Go to the Firefox, again, in the Office Core, we go to the Jobs section here, the account manager, see some information for the account manager. The story was that I'm not interested in the account manager. I'm clicking back to the start page. And we see the personalization. So um, I think I had about eight minutes for this personalization. It's very simple. The big thing is that you uh, do conceptual work at the beginning, and then you go to the page editor and do the personalization. So. Um, here I, do, I did the personalization with Go technique. You have different techniques like profiling, uh, like campaign triggered, um, uh, different, different uh, possibilities. I will show you um, in my presentation. So let's go back to the presentation. Uh, this was the demo. Okay, and now I want to show you um, a customer, a big customer from Cycle who uses this technique. I think everyone in this room knows EasyJet, for example. Some, some facts from EasyJet, they uh, count about 55 million tickets a year. Um, they have a website which is available in 14 languages. And in 2011, they, have about, they had about 365 million visitors. And here you see a screenshot from, from uh, EasyJet. So again, it's a very modular website, and we can do personalization from Cycle. And on the right side, you see they have a form with a departure and so on. And if I click a special departure, like here, a man, um, they have personalized the, the big hero banner here in the middle, the, which uh, promote me some discount. And the banner box um, uh, promote me some, some special um, prizes for um, upselling, etc. special for, for the departure. So we have a personalization on the website, and we have more than these. Um, imagine, um, for example, I was on EasyJet. I have booked uh, a flight, and then I didn't uh, delete my, my uh, browser session, my cookie, and so on. And after a week or, or two weeks, I will go back to the EasyJet website. And then first, we have a one-to-one -one personalization. It's, it's not, uh, I can't read it. I think you can't read it too. Um, there we have welcome back, welcome back sentence, because uh, EasyJet knows me as a visitor. Like the slide at the beginning, who is your customer? 
And here we have, for example, this box, uh, which promote me some, some special um, um, campaigns, some, some special uh, uh, offers for uh, the departure, which I have chosen. It's not good to read, but it's Bristol, I think, yeah. And yeah, they have special offer for me from Bristol here. And also they have a special uh, search engine implemented, which is personalized, so um, they can um, uh, send me some results if I want to um, fly, fly for, for example, from Stuttgart. They have um, other uh, offers from, from Munich, for example. Yeah, and here you have some personalized offer based on past travel, so uh, they know uh, which, were, which was my past travel, and yeah, they offer me some new travel real-time pricing modules, and also, um, uh, yeah, they, they try to uh, do upselling with me here in this box. We see business class promotion, etc. Okay, and also um, they have integration with an email campaign manager because um, at the end an email is also an HTML, so we can also personalize an email, for example. And this sentence was... Uh, uh, very important for me because it's a sentence from one of the uh, board members from, from EasyJet. After they implemented the system, um, the penalization helps them to, um, yeah, to fill two planes every minute. So I think it's a, it's a, big, um, it's a big number of, of uh, transactions. I think personalization is not, is not uh, uh, the only way to fill two plans every minute, but it helps. And this is, yeah, this is a very important result. Okay, so let's start with results, with results and go back to my, um, to my uh, uh, theme from this presentation. Um, content is still king. This is one of the results I want to, talk to, uh, want to, um, to show you because if you act cross-channel and think multi-channel, I think you will, you will earn the best results for your website. And uh, like I showed you, showed you in the demo, you see the right content at the right time to the right customer is the best sentence you have to uh, remember after this presentation. But um, yeah, you, first you have to know who are your customers. Remember, it's not, it's not important to know how granularly you, you can define them, but you have to know uh, a little bit of your customer. So we have a few lessons that we've learned after this presentation, I hope so. Um, just, uh, just start thinking and dialogues is the first lesson. So I've um, presented you, uh, I've told you the, the story from the fashion store and now try thinking uh, on the website. Here you have online one-to-one -one conversations and they differ from offline because, um, yeah, yeah um, the question the customer will, will um, uh, will um, define, they, they are posed in the form of behavior, and the answers should be given in the form of relevant content. And this is very, very important uh, if you want to do personalization. And the second lesson, which you have, uh, which is very important to learn, is that most companies are too ambitious. So uh, when we go to, to the companies, for example, um, we have one team in Psycho, it's called the S-Boss, Psycho Business Optimization. They saw all these, all these functions, all these tools, they say, hey, cool, great, great uh, CMS, but uh, then they, they stand like this guy and they say, oh, okay, how can I start? You have so many tools. So first you have to um, analyze your situation and you have to think about how you can start this um, digital marketing for your company. And here I want to show you some tools from our system um, to identify the anonymous uh, visitor on your website. For example, we have the goal technique with engagement values, so you, you can um, use this like uh, if your visitor has filled out a for, uh, form or has uh, uh, finally um, uh, paid a product on your online shop, and we have different tools on the right side and at the first section, it's called Attract. These tools are the low-hanging fruits in Cycle. So um, 
it's, it's very important that you start with simple tools like personalization with goals and um, do analytic on your website and do campaigning like I did with Google AdWords. And then you have the second phase, the converting. I don't want to analyze all these tools. These are a whole web uh, work workshops from Cycle, so I only want to show you um, yeah, the big circle. And the, it's very important to understand that um, you first have to know where you have to start. It's, uh, it doesn't matter if you use Cycle uh, or other tools, it's very important that you know how you can start and that you start very simple. So for Psycho, we have, a, uh, we have built a special model to classify the website from the customer. Here we call it customer experience maturity model. And about 90% of, of the websites from the customer which are interested in Psycho um, were defined in the first three classifications. So. Um, if, if we have classified these visitors, uh, I'm sorry, these um, interests, um, these customers, we um, go and workshop th with them, and then it's um, the next uh, step is to put them in the next level, not directly to the lifelong customer. Yeah. The third lesson uh, which we have learned uh, is start simple and grow from there. And this is what I mean with low-hanging fruits. You have the digital fingerprint, and it doesn't matter if you use Psycho, you have these attributes, and it's very important that you start simple. Use them, try to know who is your customer, try to deliver the relative content. Remember um, this, I'm sorry, remember the sentence, the right content at the right time to the right customer. And personalization is only a technique for this. Okay. Oh. So, my conclusion, digital, digital marketing in the future, customer experience is a culture, far more than one product or a product. And the ultimate customer engagement is a lifelong customer. So, um, it's important that you know your customer, that you um, deliver him the right content at the right time and yeah then I hope you will all um, get these goals with personalization for example as a technique and Sitecore Sitecore uh, offers you on the left side the web content management system and the big benefit from some Sitecore is that you have the web content management system and the digital marketing system from one hand like um, uh, they, the, each tool in the digital marketing system can communicate with uh, each tool in the web content management system on one platform. This is a big benefit in this case from Psycho. And yeah, if you want, um, we have a special ebook which um, uh, will um, uh, give you more strategic uh, marketing um, um, uh, help. Um, and you can download this ebook on our website. And also, we have an event um, on 6, 26th of November in Hamburg, the Digital Transport. Um, yeah, I would like to invite everybody who's interested in Psycho or in digital marketing. Um, we have a few um, very interesting uh, presentations there. And yeah, hope that I will see anybody there. Okay, do you have? Questions? Okay, then, thank you.